Hello, and welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today, I'm going to be uh, reviewing my progress on the Chaperone from Model Expo, as well as <clears throat> giving a little bit of a review of how the build has gone so far. As you can see from here, I've gotten quite a bit done. And in the title cards, you can see some of the build progress getting to this point. I actually started this build believe it was in 2013 and at, anybody who watches me my uh, channel a lot will realize that I do when I get frustrated with a build put it away sometimes for a decade not very often but the uh, framework was uh, done for a long time and then it ended up snapping at one point back here so I ended up putting it away for quite a while gone through did, did the hull let me move these pieces off so i don't lose them did the hull which was quite a, a little bit of a trick but you can see it actually looks pretty good and you can see right here that i've done put a base on it i'm planning on lighting it there are some spots i got to clean up on the base because of paint splatter let me go ahead and rotate the model so you can see Matter of fact, let's change camera angles here. So you can see there, and the rudders right now are reversed of what they should be. Actually, no, that was that was correct. It's just down. So the rudders here. Actually, yeah, that one's I'm just looking. That's correct, I believe. It looks odd to me. But it has taken a, quite a bit of work to get to this point. The one, one of the things I'm not too pleased with is that the entire construction of the deck, stru, deck is made of balsa wood. When you paint it on one side, it warps. I've done a, a, a stern wheeler before. Better wood. Didn't warp when I painted it it's I mean it stayed solid on here it was laser etched and you were supposed to paint that I tried there's no way I used my Cricut to do that I think that looks fantastic I do have to say there are some really really nice wooden pieces these are all the windows and doors are all wood really thin probably about a millimeter to a millimeter and a half thickness so those have come out really well let me go ahead and switch to the front camera here and you can see some more of the woodwork i'm really happy with the way it's coming out except for like i said and you can see here there there is a really pronounced warpage there from the paint gonna be able to push it press it flat but it shouldn't have warped in the first place. And then uh, you can see where my wires are coming up in the center of the ship so that I don't have to fight with it. I'm actually going to run a conduit up to the next deck. The other problem that I have, you know, the other issue that I don't like is the seamage here. They could have made the box a little bit bigger. Actually, it wouldn't have had to be that much bigger. Let me get part of the box real quick and I'll show you. Pardon me while I move stuff. That the box didn't have to be, or the back box could have been just a little bit bigger. Let me see if I can get this in camera. So right now, the box is at the back of the um, boat. Right here, if they'd have added six inches to the length of the box they could have done solid pieces here because as it is i've got to fill in some spots here this it doesn't look bad but it's going to be visible and the next deck has the exact same problem 
split into four pieces. Going to be a little bit of work, but I should be able to get it to where it looks good. I am enjoying this build immensely, especially, like I said, it has got some really, really tiny detail parts. It comes with photo etch, and, you know, it. it's going to go together well. It's not designed to be lit, but I am lighting it anyway. And, you know, it, it's something that I'm working on right now. I do it on our live streams. I do it. It's right now, it's my main model that I'm working on, along with other things. I can, now I'm not going to bring over all the parts. There's a huge amount of parts. There's like, I want to say over 20 flat pieces, or over 20 um, laser cut sheets for the model. And you can see some of the places the um, decking panels look show up really well last one that i did was actually from okri and it all of this stuff like this was um wood strip very thin wood strip matter of fact i have one right here this wood strip like this works out much better very thin very bendable but it's a different company i have to say it is a, a good kit I'm not sure if it's worth almost $300, you know, because of being made of balsa wood, but that's the choice they made. And I actually bought this, like I said, about 10 years ago, so it was a little bit cheaper. I'm going to be continuing to do 5 and 10 minute update builds while I go further. I wanted to get one done today before I did anything more because, um, you know, it's going to start coming together and you wouldn't be able to see some of the details that are on here. One of the things I thought was really kind of interesting is the way the back end, they make it sound when you're build, when you're doing it, that it's going to curve a lot more than it did. But this, the whole ship actually has a curve to it. I had to sand these down to where they would fit the curve. It's not a... Uh, easy build really but an enjoyable one hope you enjoy the video hope you uh like and subscribe if you're not already and i will see you on the next update of this or multiple other kits that i've got going take care of yourselves have a great fourth of july which is when i'm recording this um, take care of each other come on over to hobby time modelers come and see what we're doing both on YouTube and Facebook and I will see you on the next video.